Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mammel and Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading. This is a collective love reading for all signs and any sign of the person that you're thinking of for no contact, low communication. What is your person thinking and feeling? If you are not interested in knowing about your past, you've moved on, please check out your collective love reading um, for new love and manifestations. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. So grateful spirit has guided you here. Please think about the person that you have in mind. What is your person's um, energy? Bring that energy to this reading. Let's see what the thoughts and feelings are around this connection, what spirit has for guidance for you or for this connection. I'm very grateful that you're here. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you need us to hear today? What messages of love do you have for us? I am listening for you now. I have founding day. All right. That's going back to the beginning. It's almost remembering is how it's coming into me. Remembering where we started, how we started, what was good about it, uh, what worked, you know, why we fell in love to begin with. So going back to the beginning, your person could be thinking about when this all started, when they met you, reminiscing, something along those lines. I have changing faces. So that came into me as taking down their mask, okay? A little bit of a, I'm revealing my feelings. You could see this kind of reveal happening with I'm coming out of the shadows. I'm revealing my mask. I'm letting my mask down. Um, letting my mask down, letting you in is, is kind of how it's coming into me. Um, my mask down. I want to stay on that for a moment and letting you in. So that's what we're asking for spirit today. Are we wi willing to, um, you know, reveal ourselves to you and in this connection? And then I have a gift. Expect a gift is how that just came into me. This connection was originally a gift. We felt like it was beautiful. We felt like it was amazing. We're remembering why it came into our life. And then it's this feeling of expect a gift, you know, some kind of gift, whether it's a, a call, whether it's a, I want to talk, um, you know, the gift could be just what you're manifesting. What is it that you are asking for in this moment? Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Uh, so grateful that you're here. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button, comment below, claim this reading. Love for you to join our channel and this community. Spirit, please share with me. Letting down the mask or taking off the mask. I have a hanged man. I have a hermit. I have a seven of cups. And I have a eight of cups. So this feeling of I need time, I need time, I need time to decide, I need time to figure out what my feelings are. I wanted to see they could have said I want to see what else is out there? They could have wanted to experience other relationships or, you know, just not put all their energy into, into this relationship at this time. And that was very hurtful to you. But right now it was like they needed this time is how it's coming into me. It was, I, I needed time to grow. It, it's, underneath the surface you can see they're they're on the surface here and then underneath the surface is this all this coral and sea life and i had to get to my true feelings so i feel like they did some soul searching i feel like they were trying to figure out what it is within themselves that um they felt like they were missing and it might have nothing to do with you it might have everything to do with they just weren't happy within themselves and they needed to find themselves again so sometimes that happens i have an ace of pentacles beautiful there's the offer of some kind i have a nine of pentacles i like these um they look like they look like swans or fl flamingos or something there, but they look like they're creating a heart. And um, I feel like I'm thinking about you. You know, I felt stronger when I was with you. I felt more secure when we were together. Those kinds of energies are all around me right now. I have a judgment. I'm starting to realize the truth of this connection that we're supposed to be together, that this is bigger than both of us. So this person could be awakening to that 
they really were in a better place when they were with you. So why did they run? Why did they, why are they hiding? What are they holding back? I have a six of cups. Yeah. They're spending a lot of time thinking about you. They're spending a lot of time of when I was with you, I was really happy. We had good days. We had a great beginning. So they're going all the way back to the beginning, you know, and they could be thinking, you know, if I could recreate that, that start all over again, if I could start all over again, um, I would. Um, and maybe that's the direction that we're headed in that I want to start all over again. I want to put the past behind us or I want to get over what we've been going through. But I know that I can't stop thinking about you. And I know that I'm struggling with I've been trying to do some inner healing within myself. Let's see what some of the feelings are. Spirit, what are the feelings I love your spirit. You shine like a star and you stole my heart. I also love the compass. You know, like my compass is, is always pointing in your direction. You know, how about you're my inner compass? Um, you know, this feeling of whether your soul connections, twin flames, um, you know, a soulmate connection and separation. Um, I always feel like my compass points to you. I always feel like um, at the end of the day, somehow, you know, you're in it, you're, whether you're in my mind or thoughts or conversations with people, um, you're in it, you're in my life still. Um, I've been meditating and experiencing and expanding my mind and I am starting to see, beautiful, I'm starting to see the truth. I'm starting to see that what we are together, this person's growing. I'm going to say it that way. I think that they are, are um, wakening up to their feelings and, and realizing, please don't give yourself to anyone else. I can feel you and it tears me apart. Even knowing it's a possibility, I could lose you forever. So even if you're not with this person, it's almost a, could you please not be with anybody else yet? I, I'm not ready to be with you yet. And it's a lot for them to ask you to wait, but they could be asking you to wait. The thought of, of you being with someone else tears them apart. The thought of you being with somebody physically is very upsetting to them, but they've got to make up their mind. I talk to you within my mind all the time. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? Do you answer me? I swear you do. And twin flames have that ability. Soul connections have that ability. You kind of know where they're at. You kind of know what they're thinking. Um, Spirit saying you're giving them space because you love them and you trust them and you're allowing them to do what they've got to do. Um, and you know that they're going to return to you. So it's it's very much a feeling of, um, you know, can you, can you believe me? Can you trust me? Can you, do you believe that we have a future together? Something like that. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that we need to hear? I'm faithful. I know we will find our way back to each other in divine time. Um, you know, this feeling of the compass, this feeling of faithfulness, this feeling of, um, you know, somehow our spirits are attached, somehow we are connected, you know, your inner compass, our inner compasses will always find each other. So, there's something going on with that with me today, uh, that it's bigger than us. And we just keep finding each other. Secrets, I hate not knowing what's going on. Not necessarily secrets that, you know, we're lying to each other. But I just don't know what's going on in your life day to day. I want to know if you're okay. I want to know if you miss me. I want to know what happened with your family, your friends, work, all that day to day stuff. And usually what happens is we really start to just miss our person, our best friend. Um, I know what you want. I have manipulation. So don't manipulate me. Don't play games with me. You know, for those of you that have somebody that you feel like they're breadcrumbing you, they're asking you to wait, but they're not giving you any real uh, timeline and you're getting frustrated because you can't wait forever for this person. You know, be careful with that. Sexual, let's play. I know this person's thinking of you physically. They want to be with you physically. That's for sure. 
you make me feel things I can't even describe, you know, this sense of passion. And, you know, so the person who is missing you, the person who is saying, I miss you and I want you. And yes, physical is a big part of it because that's how we connect to human beings. That's how we connect to our lovers and our best friends. So I miss you physically. I, I, I want you physically is what this person is saying. And, and you could want them physically, but we've got to work on the emotional part as well. That's more important. Um, riddled with guilt and shame. I'm sorry I treated you the way I did. I'm, I'm afraid that I've blown it. I'm afraid that you'll never forgive me. Things aren't always as they appear. I feel like they self-sabotaged it out of fear. They could have pushed you away. They could have not said the wrong things, something like that. You know, I push people away out of my life as soon as I get scared, as soon as it gets real, as soon as I have to start to work towards it, you know, I start to get get scared. Spirit, what else do you need me to know about this connection? I feel confined. Okay, so a little bit of a feeling of trapped. They may have felt like they were trapped in some way. Not that you were holding them back, but it could have been anything. It could have been finances. It could have been responsibilities. It could have been stress. It could be kids. Um, I felt trapped and I just needed some time to work on me, you know, and, and I do feel, like I said, this sense of I'm going to let you go work on you and I trust that you'll come back when you're ready. Too much turmoil. I needed to take a break. If you had a lot of drama in this connection, if you were struggling with um, you know, just kind of um, turmoil and difficulties within this connection. Like sometimes we just need a break, like so that we don't say things that we re re regret for the rest of our lives. Um, so does it break um, the cycle? Sometimes it does. Um, I'm observing you. I'm looking at you from afar. Okay. Whether it's I'm checking you out, I'm asking about you. Um, I've been, um, I'm asking around something like that, you know, like what's going on with you. You could have mutual friends, mutual family members that are talking to your person so that there's a hope that maybe there's an intermediate Mayor Airy that's trying to help you guys get back together or just communicating the information back and forth. Um, and then releasing, I'm trying to let go of some things that that I think have been interfering in this connection that were causing this turmoil. I'm cutting those strings. I'm cutting that past, whatever that is. Persevere. I want to get through this storm. I want to get through this. I want to, I want to do this is how it's coming into me. This is coming into me as in time, you know, of course, with the sense of we can weather any storm. And for those of you that are waiting for your person, because you, you're not ready to move on, you don't want to give up on your person yet. You want them to do some healing. You want them to be in a better place. You don't want them to feel like they can't come to you with anything. Um, it's a feeling of, you know, we're going to get through this storm, this storm. We've gone through other storms and we're going to get through this storm as well. So this Spirit, please share with me this letting down my mask and letting someone in again. And then this inner compass feeling like you're my inner compass and, and you're I'm always guided to you is, is how I felt. I have a two of cups like, yeah, there's something something about you that, you know, I can't give up on. You know, I'm not going to give up on this connection. You know, it's just this feeling of I'm not going to give up on us. I'm not going to give up on this connection. I'm not going to give up on you, whether that's both of you saying it or you saying it, you believing in your person. I have a ten of cups. Beautiful. I have an ace of swords. There's my, there's my truth. There's my letting down my mask. Here's my chariot. Look at this, you know, just charging back into your life and arms wide open, admitting their feelings, admitting the truth, being more honest and open with what has been going on, what has been causing this, this difficulty. Why did they run? Why did they feel like they had to push this away? Um, but that is coming into me as truth. So I'm, I'm very grateful for that message. I, I feel like 
I'm, you know, I'm just realizing, you know, I'm realizing my, my feelings for you, bottom of the deck, I've got a king of cups. So you've got somebody that, you know, three of swords, I'm heartbroken over what I've done to us. You might not think this person's hurting. You may think that you're the only one hurting, but this person's, I feel like is hurting as well. And, you know, we could both have mutual um, responsibility in this connection. We both have faults. We both have, there's no one person to blame, but it's a feeling of my heart is, my heart is aching over you, um, you know, aching for you, aching over you. And um, that, you might not believe that, but they didn't just walk away and, and never look back. I mean, I'm not feeling that at all. I'm feeling that um, they're realizing that, you know, they didn't let you in or they, you know, what was their part in this? I guess I should say it that way. What was their part in this and what could they have done differently? So let's see what some feelings are. I keep my feelings for you a secret because I'm involved with someone else. So did something interfere in this connection? That could be that the reason, you know, you broke my heart, you hurt me, not for all of you, but for some of you. My life is so messed up right now. I'm trying to put the pieces of my life back together. I've got to put my pieces of my life back together in order to be with you again. I don't know how to move forward from this situation. I'm struggling with how do I, how do I admit to you my feelings, my guilt, my shame, how do I open my heart up to this connection? Uh, we start at the very beginning. And they had said to me, you know, the sense of starting all over again. You know, I mean, I know that sounds easy, but maybe that's what we need to do. We just have to start at the very beginning again. I do need more time. This person's asking for some more time. They're also asking you to not be with someone else. Again, that is your choice. You don't have to do that. But um, it's, it's almost like they want the best of both worlds. They want their space and their freedom, but they don't want you to be with somebody else. So that's going to be up to you what, what's best for you. Um, I want to take care of you, but I can't right now because of money. I've got to take care of some things. My life is messed up. My friends say that I focus too much on you. Uh, could be. Maybe they're talking about you all the time. Maybe they can't get you off their mind. Maybe their friends are getting tired of hearing it and saying, hey, pick up the phone and go talk to your person then. So it could be as simple as that. Um, I don't mean to be so selfish. You could be putting them in the category of their ego, their selfishness. They, they're putting themselves first and not the relationship first. Um, it's hard for me to admit when I'm wrong and say, I'm sorry. So that is something that they struggle with, their ego. I grew up with bad role models. I'm not sure I know how to give and express the love that you deserve. I feel like I want to say, but I want to keep trying. I want to keep trying. I want you to help me with that. There is no one else that knows me the way that you do. And that really is what it's coming down to because the whole message for me was you're their inner compass. And somehow at the end of each day, their mind, their thoughts, their soul, their heart keeps coming back to you. So this connection, there's still emotional uh, energy connecting the two of you. And we're going to ask spirit for some more healing energy, some more time and some more patience in this connection. I want to thank spirit for these uh, messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember hitting that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your comments and kind words. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.